let me talk to y'all. Somebody thought that something that you went through was supposed to break you down to where you wouldn't have been able to, you shouldn't even be doing the things that you're doing right now. You shouldn't be able to run a business. You shouldn't be able to get up and go to work every day. You shouldn't be able to take care of your kids. You shouldn't be able to do none of that. This is what these people or this person thought, that you wasn't going to be able to do anything without them or whatever you've been through. It's like something that you went through that was really traumatized, really traumatized. It's something that they probably possibly did not or would never have the courage to go through and succeed the way and come out of it like you did. Y'all are giving very much so warrior vibes. Y'all are giving very much so warrior vibes. This people, this person, I feel like it's a person. It, it's people. It's, it's, a, it's a group of people. They feel like what they threw out in front of you, the roadblocks that they threw out in front of you, the things that they put out, the hurdles that they put out in front of you to distract you, they thought that you wouldn't have been able to overcome. And I feel like you've been doing it with ease, and they're trying to figure out how. They're trying to figure out how. Now, it's some hating ass energy. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now. There's some hating ass energy. These people are weird, okay? They weird. Because they rather see somebody down than get them a helping hand, help them up, uplift them. This person right here want to see um, you down. They want to see you going through some type of struggle. It's like they get some type of uh, kick out of it. This could be somebody who, who's struggling themselves. You know, misery loves company. But let's talk about it. Let's see what these cards gonna say. Hmm. I'm seeing like some I feel like y'all started to uh I'm getting like grind. Like y'all started getting on y'all grind. Y'all started to come up, okay, with the ace of wands. Y'all could be doing something that you're very uh passionate about and you could be getting paid to do something that you're extremely passionate about and i see you going hard for it i see you um being taking this really really serious okay like you're a go-getter i'm completely seeing that you got star quality okay you got star quality okay you was made for this you was made for this right but this person trying to stall you. Look at this. Hey, man. This person trying to stall you out. This person trying to stall you. They was hoping that you would fall. Because we got the Ten of Wands here. They was hoping that you was going to give up with the Ten of Wands. They was hoping that this was going to be too much and you would just quit. Ooh, got the devil. Mm. I see three people here. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, the devil. We got the Justice card here too. This is Libra's energy. We got the Star card. This is Aquarius' energy. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And the devil is Capricorn's energy. This person want this person likes to hear you talk about yourself, okay? They like to hear you talk about yourself. Okay, I, I feel like they like to hear you talk about yourself so they'll know where to attack. Okay, what they need to attack. 
Yep, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you now? We got the Queen of Swords. So this person is like they they strategic, okay? Five of pins, five of swords lets me know that they are real strategic, okay? Because they need to see where you're headed, what is what's coming in, what's in the future. So they they like when you keep the conversation on yourself because this is their way to kind of trip you up, get the information that they need so they can know where to attack, okay? Jealous. Because they see you going places. They see you doing things. You done overcame. You done closed some chapters. Okay. You done closed the chapter on something that, that you had an issue on. That you had a problem. Okay. That's something that you were fighting is it ended this person wants you to stay in this five of wands energy yeah three of pentacles why is three of pentacles here six of swords i told you you found a way to get out of it you crawled out of the situation you got out of a situation that you, that they would never have the courage to do. You did something that they would never have the courage to do. You didn't give up. You didn't throw the towel in. Even when it got rough. Some of y'all, somebody purposely tried to slow y'all down. Got the devil and the knight of pentacles. Could be a Capricorn. This person could have like some type of addictions. They could have some uh, possessive energy, like obsessive energy. Cold, like they, this person is just dealing with some some demons. Okay, this person could have purposely been trying to slow you down. They could be trying to like spend up all your money. This could be a family member. A younger family member with that Knight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. No. What it is, is they're tired of money coming in quick for you. Okay? So, you, you've been pushing forward and things have been, money been, has been flowing to you. Okay? Easily. They've been trying to slow that energy down, okay, by throwing little wrenches out there. See? They're tired of you moving forward. They're tired of things being progressive for you. Like, every time they turn around, it's a pinnacle, didn't I tell you? Some of y'all could have just got a new car. Some of y'all could have just made some type of big purchase. Like, they just tired of seeing it all the time. They say when it's going to be their turn to get what they want. This person is, oh, these are this. Mm. This person wants you to stop talking about your blessings. They want you to stop talking about money. They want you to stop talking about things that are going good in your life. Because it makes them feel, it makes them feel inadequate. It makes them feel like y'all not on the same page. And they want to feel where you're coming from. But I feel like this person thinks that you're bragging. Like you, you brag too much for them. They don't look at it as um, an accomplishment. They look at it like you're trying to talk down on them. So if you say, yeah, I got a new car, girl, they're not genuinely happy for you. They're seeing it because they're saying, oh, okay, yeah. Mm, but they're really not happy for you. They're not. They're not. They're not. Notice the shift. This 
this could be somebody I'm getting like younger this person is a little bit younger than you like this energy y'all I hate I hate to see stuff like this and see they sitting up here uh, spying on you and not saying nothing and they're spying on you but, and they're upset because they're not getting attention This person is mad jealous. Like, they jealous of you. And that's just point blank, period. You got to stop telling. You got to find out where this energy is coming from. Some of y'all already know who this is. And don't tell them. Don't vent to them. Don't give them none of, none of your energy. Because this person loves to sit around. And they, they sit there and they listen to you and what you got to say. But only so they can know your business they're not really interested they're not really they don't really care they don't they don't really care they just come around to see if you've gotten over what happened last year or the year before that um they feel like you're bragging like y'all gotta get around people that are doing better than you so you can learn more because if you're the smartest person in the room then you need to change rooms and that's for facts for facts because you're not being you're not challenging yourself enough um and you need to expose yourself to different people you can learn a lot more you don't need to be around this no nobody envious and jealous because they they legit feel like you're bragging like they legit feel like you should have been um, somewhere crying in the room over some stuff that happened so long ago. They don't even understand how you made it through. Because they feel like they couldn't have never done anything like that. So y'all let me know what's going on in the conversation below. Alright? I'm going to chat with y'all later.